person goes first that you can prepare in the meanwhile? No? Not? Okay, then I just see... Uh... By the way, do you know the cool fish, which is a shell, a friendly interactive shell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so you know the set shell, or maybe the most of you know bash. Some of you may know set shell, and I propose fish is the coolest shell, as we can argue together with a club Marta afterwards. So, because the fish has some cool features like, um, I know it's, um, yeah, um, when you when you press some command fire. Fox, it recognizes, okay, this is a valid command and it has a syntax highlighting. Or if I write some for i in star, yeah, it makes an um, Einrückung on these things, um, ls, and when I, what, what happens when I press the D from end? Yes, of course, it's finished, hey, it's that, okay. So, and all the cool things and really easy configuration, go for it, fish shell. Whatever. Really, ha real hackers will find it. <laughs> yes. Can everyone hear me? This one? Yeah. Everyone in the back can hear me? If you can't hear me, raise your hand. Okay, that would be stupid. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to talk about this project I've been involved in for like a couple of months. I am not the owner. Uh, the owner apparently has had a son, and he likes his biological son better than his digital son, so I'm here. Um, it's about Remuco, which uh, basically you can use your mobile phone to interact with your favorite favorite media player, currently that's what we support, but it's not just a remote control. I mean, it has some features, um, pretty common, like play, pause, next, you can track a player's state information, you can edit a, a media library, you can tr rate your tracks and everything, but it's also bigger than that. We are starting to create adapters for things like Ocular, if you want to use your cell phone to present something, maybe a lightning talk, and I would demonstrate it here, but well, I don't have a USB Bluetooth dongle, so well. Um, currently, these are the use cases. You can rate or label tracks, you can see track information, um, you can always let everyone else control your media player if you, well, if you can trust them enough. enough. Um, you can browse your media library while enjoying the sun in the garden. Maybe in Berlin that's not really useful because, well, it's cold all the time, I, I hear. Oh, how, how does it work? You have a client with a Java ME uh, enabled um, program and uh, Android's in the works. Uh, basically, you either connect via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi and um, in the server side, it's Python, so it's um, comfortable to, to, to program. Uh, we're implementing network communication. It's a generic player interface, so all you have to do is you have to create your own player adapter if you're not currently uh, supported by Remuco. Um, you import the server module and you start your own class, and it's really easy. All you have to do is uh, uh, override the methods, and it works, just works like Apple, oh, well. Um, so the player adapters are the in intermediate uh, code between the, uh, the actual player and the server. It can be a plugin too, or it can also be a standalone script which you run in the background. Um, we are, well, we have quite a, a, a code base right now. We are a gigantic community of maybe four, and, well, we need you. We need more people to test. We need a lot more people to code. Well, we are aiming for world domination, so if you can, uh, if you can understand a little Python, oh, you don't have to, but um, all you have to do is edit a template that we have to, to create our own media play, uh, sorry, our own player adapter. And um, one minute, okay, that's enough. Um, we are 
currently trying to implement an Android client, but well, Android people are always welcome. Uh, we are trying to remove the uh, Java ME necessity if uh, we can get a, a web client, a uh, web server running on the on the PC then you can just open your browser and the the cell phone and then you don't have to have Java um, we're using dbus some of the times some of the other times we are just uh, adding a front end to the player itself so get in touch help us uh, that's the Google code project you have a mailing list the source code it's mirroring github and big buckets if you happen to like mercury of a git well it, nobody's perfect. And there's also the Twitter and the Identica if you want to come. Or if you just want to have some idea and talk to me, I'll be here. My name is Igor. It's not on the slide because Open is the one that did it, not me. So that's it. Thank you for listening. And please, I welcome you in our project. Well, thank you so much, Igor. OK. Um, well, thank you. Uh, Kirsten. Please come up. Yes, this one is working better. Okay, uh, who did I forget from the speakers? Anyone I forgot? Who still, you still need to do? Okay, please. Um, we're still looking for people. Um, is there anyone here who was supposed to give a lightning talk and didn't go on? No, yeah, you. Okay, so please come to the front and you'll be uh, after Jeff. Jeff. And Jeff, what are you talking about? I'm going to talk about swarm robots that you can build at home. Oh, yeah, that was the robots to build at home. Okay, Jeff, you're after Karsten. Please sit somewhere in the front so it would be easy. Um, and your name was? Uh, Rene. Uh, René, what are you talking about? Um, I want to talk about a uh, web framework I developed for my company and I manage the open source. Okay, great. Sorry. Okay. Well, the floor is yours, Kirsten. Okay, this is better. Um, yeah. Um, brief, brief talk about um, research by um, a friend of mine who wants to stay anonymous. Um, I'm especially happy to present this, though. It, it, it's a, um, it, the talk goes in two directions. It's one showing a major cryptography screw up, uh, which I like particularly. Um, but it also exposes a lot of information to um, perhaps open source uh, programmers of, in this case, FPGAs. Everybody familiar with FPGAs? Little chips that, uh, little CPU type chips that, that can be programmed to, to do um, things extremely efficient um, in hardware? Hmm, Mac fail. There's no FPGA in here, I believe. Beides, yeah, yeah, jetzt beides. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, so FPGAs. Um, FPGAs are programmable with pretty much anything by now. You can even program a CPU into an FPGA. Um, the, the, the CPU implementation is even given out for free as part of um, a free software by the, the, manuf the, the main manufacturer of FPGA, Xilinx, um, as are many other what I call IP blocks. So there are, there, are, there are components you can load into the FPGA that do execute algorithms extremely efficiently. Now the manufacturer, Xilinx, um, does not want you to know what exactly is going on in these blocks, but rather to, to, to just place them into your design and use them. Um, this creates some problems for open source simulation tools, of course, since um, short of knowing what is inside these blocks, there's no way of testing them in your computer, and you have to go all the way of, of loading them onto your FPGA um, and running them. Um, Xilinx protects the intellectual property using a technique called Secure IP, which, um, oops, this is a screw up. I love 